said, just going to do a quick reading of all signs, you know, just to have a little weekend check-in sort of, I guess, for the next 24 hours, see what's cooking, you know. <laughs> so let's just see what is going on. You know, what is the vibe going into next week, you know. It's Saturday night, and, you know, <laughs> we always have these, um, you know, thinking about the week and just wondering how the week is going to go. So I thought I would just come and do a quick little reading just to see, you know, what's the vibe for the weekend. I'm just going to do, like, a quick little one of every sign. And if you're here during the premiere, I'm going to chat to chit-chat, see what's going on. <laughs> So you can say hi, I always like to meet new people and, you know, <laughs> see what's going on out there in the universe. <laughs> I'm just going to switch my screen over. There you go. Actually, before we got started, I didn't get to light my candles yet. And I've been really obsessed with this dragon blood. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways. I should put it here. You can see that. Dragon's blood. There you go. You can see it a lot better this way. Um, and I'm obsessed with this. It just, just brings some positivity. See what's going on. Sometimes it's a little smoky, so hopefully it's not too smoky this time. As long as it doesn't go out on me. <laughs> there we go. Oh, turn my... <laughs> What's with me tonight? What is going on? There we go. You feel the energy already coming in. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. Yeah, it is going to be a little bit too smoky, eh? Put that over a little bit over there. There we go. So I'm going to start with Pisces. I just have that vibe. Like, what is going on with Pisces? It's just a quick little, you know, reading to see what's going on for the weekend. I'm going to do the past, present, and future, the potential, and the results, <laughs> the outcome, whatever you want to choose to call it. If you're new here, I read the cards to the light to you, to the dark to me. So, let's get going with Pisces. What's in store for Pisces going into the new week? So, we got the King of Wands in the past for Pisces. The Eight of Pentacles in the present. And the Nine of Swords. What is going on, Pisces? Hmm. I have the King of Wands in the dark. But this is in your past, so I feel like the present energy before this reading, you were just trying to, your mind was going and going and going, and you were just thinking impulsively without slowing down and thinking things through. That's kind of what he represents, because, you know, he has the wand, and it's a symbol of life, and he's just, you know, at a fast pace during life right now, instead of, you know, taking his time and lounging and processing his ideas because in the dark he's a little bit more haste about his ideas and more going on a fast paced sort of thing. Then for the present energy you have the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles, she's, she's you know, she's scattered brain. She has a bunch of ideas, a lot of motivations in different directions. And because she's in the dark I'm kind of feeling like, you kind of feel like you're in the rat race kind of thing. You just feel like you're doing the same old, same old every day, in and out, you know. You're just stuck on this routine, and it's boring you, and you're just wanting, I don't know, you just feel like you're stuck, and you don't know how to unstuck yourself. You don't know how to find your motivation kind of thing is the present energy I'm feeling right now. It's like, you know, it's the weekend, you probably have a lot of plans that you want to do, and all sort of things, but it's like at the same time you just don't have the energy just because your mind is like all over the place. So you're like, maybe not physically drained, but like emotionally drained for some reason or other, you know? 
Then you got the Nine of Swords. I kind of feel like even though your sleep is improving, like you've been getting catching up on your sleep and stuff and resting, you still kind of feel like a little bit twisted in your emotions kind of thing. You just feel, <sighs> you know, it's going into the future. So I feel like whatever energy that you brought from the present isn't going to resolve itself anytime soon. It's just going to be something that's stuck on your mind until you figure out, you know, how to pull yourself together kind of thing, you know, how to pull yourself out of this funk that you're in kind of thing, you know. Just because you have all these ideas and all these, I don't want to say problems, but you have all these things that you're thinking about and you want to find the solutions for them now. Like right now you want to know the solutions for these problems or these ideas or these, whatever's on your mind, you want to find like, Okay, this happened, now let's do this. But, um, like the Queen, King of Wands is like, you know, you're going too fast. <laughs> Slow down. Let's just see what the potential is. The potential is sometimes something you know, something you don't know. It might be just on your subconscious mind sort of thing. To see what is happening here. No, for the present energy. Three of Swords in the Dark. So, you know, the Three of Swords generally represents some kind of inner pain. Like, she sees maybe something on your mind is that you're thinking about someone you've lost or someone you missed or some, some opportunity you've missed. I'm just feeling a lot of pain, like inner pain of missing someone or thinking about someone that you miss. Um, or it could be just something on your mind, you know, just something that resembles the feeling of missing someone if you're not missing someone per se, but I just feel like you're missing someone recently and then they're heavy on your heart and maybe that's what is clouding your mind of how to move forward, you know, because it's taking up that energy in your mind where you can't figure out the solutions that you're looking for kind of thing. It's like <laughs> taking up space and not paying rent up there kind of thing, you know? Um, I feel like that's what's clouding your mind to figure out the solutions to get you out of this negative energy that you're in right now. We'll just see what the, you know, the outcome of this will be kind of thing, you know? Going into the new week. Six of Wands, and I just feel her energy is like, <sighs> you have all the same energy going on here, Pisces, what's, like, mm, I see that, I feel like something is definitely really heavy on your heart right now, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like what's, that's the, kind of the energy that's dragging you down in all of this, you know? I feel like even though you're trying to find a balance, well, you're unbalanced right now, you know, all your emotions is unbalanced, they're all over the place, you know, she's tiptoeing, you know, whatever, using her sticks to try to brace herself, but <laughs> um, I feel like you're really looking for some approval and some recognition right now, and you're just not getting the recognition the way you want it, you know, like, um, you know. Sometimes people have a way of being grateful without saying, oh, thank you, I love that so much, you know, kind of thing. So people are just, like, as more subtle about it, like with a smile or with doing something for you instead of saying the exact words. I just feel like that's not really the situation that's happening right now, Pisces. I just feel like it's... The way you're perceiving things because of this energy, your mind is really clouded. So no matter what anyone or anything is, whatever's happening, that is just clouding your mind and you're not picking up the cues that you are desperately needing right now, you know? So I feel whatever energy this is, you're just going to have to give yourself time to process it and just let the feelings come out, just, you know, Maybe have a good old cry or whatever you need to do for, for whatever this is. Do what you need to do to recover from this negative energy. 
I mean, I don't feel like it's necessarily a negative energy of what it is exactly. I just feel like you're missing somebody or missing something or missing. I feel a lot of missing, you know. I really feel like you're thinking of someone who may have passed or may have, um, you just lost connection to them or whatever. And you're just missing that energy and it's kind of like blocking your mind for all of this. So I feel like the only way to come out of it is to stop and allow your emotions to to come out and deal with this whatever it is, you know? I can I really feel that for you. Pisces, so let's go on. We're gonna move on to Scorpio. What's in store for Scorpio for this week? What's in store for Scorpio? We got the King of I mean, King. I don't know why I was going to say the King of Cups, but it is the Page of Cups. Um, the King of Cups, in case it resembles to anyone who is a Scorpio, represents mental clarity and finding out truths about themselves or truths about somebody else. Um, you know, that sort of energy. Maybe a little bit of feeling... Um, a misuse of power or some sort of manipulation. I'm just saying that because that's the mind that's what came to my mind in case that represents anything to any Scorpios who may be watching right now. But for the Scorpio reading right I'm doing right now, you got the page of cups, the high pretest, and the three of pentacles. Okay, let's see what's going on. Um yeah. The Page of Cups, you know, he's a young lad, he's full of ambition and adventure, and he likes to, you know, he's ready for whatever comes next kind of thing, but he, because he's in the dark, I feel like maybe he's missed an opportunity, or he decided to celebrate too soon kind of thing, you know, or he hasn't gathered up all of what he needed to do, you know, he only caught, he's in the dark, he only caught two fish. Maybe he was thinking he would have caught, you know, a whole, a whole net full, you know? It's kind of the energy I'm picking up for your past. Yeah. And going into the present energy, you have their high pretest. And now she kind of represents that you're holding back for some reason. You're holding back some kind of idea or you're holding back your feelings or emotions I kind of feel I kind of feel like you're really holding back on your emotions I was going to go on to like your idea like you're not telling anybody what your plans are but I kind of feel more like you're holding back on your emotions you don't want anyone to see how you're actually feeling right now mm -hmm. I feel that for you I feel like you're kind of feeling disconnected maybe disconnected with your faith or just in disconnected with your intuition and you just can't find your intuition on how you're feeling you know you just have this feeling and you just can't quite get to what it is that you're feeling you have the three of pentacles <sighs> three of pentacles you know she's all about manifesting something you know she has her little um Pentacle that she's trying to create something. You're just, you're uncreative at the moment. You're just having a mental block going into the future. I feel like she's kind of representing that, you know, going into the week. If you need help with something, maybe at work or whatever, you know, don't be afraid to ask for help. She's letting you know that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to not be able to be on top of everything, you know. If you're falling behind in one area or another, it's okay to, like, lean on someone for some assistance she's I feel like she's letting you know that going into the week we're just gonna see what the potential is potential could be something you know something you don't really know it could be generally something that's on your subconscious mind which could clarify what the block is here I feel like the page of Pentacles is also saying the same thing as the high pretest is that you're struggling to express your emotions you're struggling on how like you're feeling so, you're going through some emotions right now, and you're ha you're struggling on how to express them in one way or another. You know, let's just see what the outcome of all of this is. You know, what's 
<sighs> What's going on here? Three of Cups. <laughs> well, it looks like you're ready to celebrate. You know, maybe in the past you celebrated too soon. But it looks like going by the end of the week, you're going to... Whatever happened there is going to be resolved. So that's good news for you, Scorpio. Whatever this feeling is right now is temporary. You know, you got the Three of Cups, so... All is going to be well. <laughs> this energy is going to be overcome, you know. You, just, you try to celebrate too soon, but by the end of the week, it'll come true, you know. Like it'll, it will work out. So that's good for you, Scorpio. I'm glad how things just turned around like that for you. Um, mm -hmm. so let's go to Cancer. What's in store for Cancer going into this week? We got the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, okay. The Ten of Pentacles is your past, you know. Sometimes we need to know our past in order to feel the energy for the present energy to see what's carrying on into our future, you know. <sighs> Tarot is, you know, has a mind of their own. They speak what they want to speak. The Ten of Wands is kind of suggesting that you are happy carrying a lot of baggage with you you know it could be just emotional baggage could be actual baggage you know they're just carrying around with you you know kind of at that point where you're ready to move on and stuff like that it's a new year you know we're almost at the end of january so we made it through the first month of the new year um mm -hmm. you're just looking to unload some I feel emotional baggage kind of thing, you know? Then you have the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles, just because she's in the dark, that you're kind of feeling like you really need to... You're, you're in dire need for, like, some self-care, Cancer, you know? I feel like you're really trying to be independent. Maybe whatever emotional baggage that you are, were carrying, you're ready now to unload it. But in order to unload it, you're still going through some emotional roller coaster of some sort. But I, I can really sense that you're ready for some independence. You're ready to move on from whatever that was. And mm -hmm, you just need to, you know, find it within yourself to something that makes you feel grounded, you know? Just makes you feel like you got your feet on the ground and you're just, you can do this. You know, you just need that boost of confidence that whatever this was, you can, you can walk away from it. You know, walk away from this. She's walking away from the deck, you know. She's pointing in the other direction, not towards the cards. So, like, if she was here, it would be like walking into the situation, but she's walking away. So, I feel like you're just ready to get your feet on the ground, you know, and feel it, like, really feel grounded with moving forward and that you're looking for that sense of feeling of independence but I feel like yeah you're gonna find that for sure like you're just in that process stage of grounding yourself and finding your independence and finding you know the new year's the new you kind of thing is the vibe I'm picking up you know then you got the ace of wands and it's you know the fiery torch that represents a lot of that fiery energy mm hmm you know, I just feel like you're ready for some commitments or ambitions in one way or another. You know, I just feel like you're really ready to have that energy. You're you're looking for the spark that's coming. You know, it's a process. You know, you first you had to dump off all your emotional baggage. Now you're working on grounding yourself, being more independent, finding out who you are and where you want to go kind of thing. And then looking into the head of the week, you're going to find that spark that's going to light or inspire you in one way or another, you know, help you find that ambition that you're you're in need of. Let's just see. I'm, I like that for you, Cancer. I do. Let's just see what the potential of all this is. <laughs> Five of Wands, yep. See? She's walking away from whatever this was. You know, she's just walking through. She don't care what kind of chaos falls behind her. She's just walking ahead to find her independence. You know, ground herself. You know, she doesn't need any of this chaos anymore. She's ready to let it go and move on. Let's see what the outcome of all of this is going to be. I guess that card's not for you. It didn't want to come out. Sometimes the card's just like, nope, that's not for cancer. <laughs> 
Oh, this one's right out. Okay, Seven of Wands. So the outcome of all of this. Well, you're going to find your fire. You're going to walk and dump your, your, your baggage. And I really feel like you're going to ground yourself and find your independence in order to move on. You know, I feel like you're going to find that spark. It's just it's going to take a lot of you to do all of this. You know, you're going to feel mentally and physically drained kind of energy. You know? She kind of said the same thing. You're trying to find your, like, she's standing on a ledge, but she's trying to find her, her footing, you know? Where could she put her foot where she's going to be grounded? She's going to be good, you know? That's kind of like what you're going through right now. I, I can see that. You know? I feel like the cards are kind of saying, you know, it, it's not going to be easy to get there, you know? Like, there's going to be some obstacles. There's going to be some challenges. And getting your foot in the right position kind of thing. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying there? Um, you just need to find, yeah, find your grounding, find your footing. You know? It's going to be exhausting. I, I do see some little bit of challenges there, you know, getting to that point. This week, you know, I feel like you may, you may feel like losing your last nerve, you know, kind of thing. That's what I'm feeling from here. But, you know... Just try to stick to the fiery energy. Try to find your spark, you know? You're having a warning sign now that there's going to be something or someone or some <laughs> chaos in the energy going into this week that might make you want to lose your last nerve. But, you know, you got the warning sign, so you can just avoid that. You know, if someone's getting to you, you know, walk away. F remember that you have that flaming torch with you. Okay, let's just move on to Aries. What's in store for Aries going into this week? You got the devil. Ooh. You got the hermit. And the ace of cups. Ooh, what is going on here? You know, the devil can represent some sensual pleasures, you know. <laughs> A little double in ya, Aries. As I can see that. I can see that for sure. <laughs> um, nothing wrong with that, right? Once in a while, so we can. It's Saturday night. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like maybe you're feeling a little tied up in a situation or other, but besides that, not, not too bad, you know? Not too bad to feel a little devilish, you know, here and there. Then you got the hermit. Mm-hmm. Herman, I kind of feel like you're feeling a little like you don't fit in, you know, even though you're feeling a little devilish over there. <laughs> you're feeling a little bit you like you don't fit in. Maybe you had to go somewhere this weekend or, you know, tomorrow, whatever, where you just feel like, you know, maybe it's the in-laws or whatever. I don't know why I said that, but you just feel like you're going to be in a situation where you're just going to feel like, you're the oddball in the, in the group or whatever. Um, I have no idea where this is all coming from, but I just feel like you're just going to feel like some does some, you know, you just don't feel right in the, whatever situation it is, you know? Mm -hmm. Then you got the Ace of Cups. You know, the Ace of Cups is, you have so much love. Your love is pouring out of your cup, you know? I can see that. Love just overflows out of the cup. <laughs> um... You know, I kind of, I kind of really feel like you're gonna have some sensual pleasures going on here. You know, um, maybe you're meeting someone new, Aries. Um, you know, you don't know how you feel about meeting this new person, but then there's like an over overflow of love, of some sort or another. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's see what the potential is. So, like, what's on your subconscious mind, so to speak? You got the Six of Swords. Um, six of Swords kind of represents the calm after the storm, you know? So even though you weren't feeling... Like you could totally be yourself, you know, kind of thing, you know? Kind of felt like yeah, maybe you were... <laughs> this week you're going to be in a situation where... You know? You felt like you had a hold back, you know? Maybe you had a, you know... Watch your cursing a little bit or whatever, you know? I feel the energy for you, Eric. 
<coughs> excuse me, this smoke is making me cough. But anyways, the Six of Swords, yeah, I can feel that for you. I feel like you may have a difficult choice. I feel like, you know, he's pulling the other person down there. I feel like, you know, you're going to be torn between two different things going on this week. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the outcome of all that's going to be. The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like changes are happening for you. Maybe that's what the choices are going to be, but changes are happening for you. You know, and I feel, you know, you have all this love. Changes are happening. You may feel like the oddball right now, but changes are happening and they look like they're going to be good. They look like good changes are coming for sure, you know. You got the Black Crow energy, you know, it always means thing, good things are coming. Good things are coming for sure, you know. Something is changing. New, new something is coming. A new job, new partner, new, you know, maybe a new position at work or whatever. I feel that for you. I feel like something new is coming to light to you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that energy for you, Aries. Let's go on to Leo. What's in store for Leo for the next, going into the week, you know, the next little while? What is going on for Leo? You got the Three of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Hmm, what is this energy? So three of cups, you know, generally represents it is past, present, and future. Where it generally represents you're ready to celebrate all sort of things. And I feel like because it's in the dark, I kind of feel like you're kind of not in the mood to socialize right now. You know, you're just not in that mood to socialize right now. Mm -hmm. Kind of just feeling like you were. Uh, it's Saturday, you know, I don't want to do anything. I worked all week, you know. <laughs> I kind of feel the energy for you, Leo. Then you got the page of cups, you know, he... <laughs> it's Saturday night, now he's ready to celebrate. You know, this past, his presence. <laughs> he's got his cup out, he's ready to celebrate, you know. He caught his fish for the day, and, you know, let's toast to that. <laughs> This is the energy I'm picking up for you, Leo. Then the three of swords, you know, I feel like you're going you're stepping into a major transition. Like I feel like you're in a funk, you know, now you're ready to celebrate and now going into the future, you're going to be going through a major transition this week. Huh, what is happening for Leo? What is the major transition? What's this? On your subconscious mind. Queen of Wands. Ooh, you know. She is that motherly type person, you know? Now, the Queen of Wands, she always represents that you need to focus on where you're going. You need to focus on, you know, your energy onto moving forward. You need to look to where you want to go and who you want to be, you know? You need to focus on yourself right now. And making sure that you're following the path that you want to follow, you know? Mm -hmm. But she says in order to move forward, you need to think of the consequences, you know? Whatever major transitions you're going into, think of the consequences, you know? Make sure that it is the right path. She's just, you know, letting you know, you know? Mm-hmm. What is the outcome? What is the outcome? Ten of Wands. <sighs> mm -hmm. I feel like a Ten of Wands is that even though you're going through a major transition and you're thinking about the consequences, I feel like during this week you're going to feel overwhelmed in one way or another, you know, just because things are moving so fast, you know. You got some good news here, you know, the transitions are happening, and the Queen says it's a good path. But, you know, think of the consequences of this thing. Like, even though it may be good for you, just think it through and don't, um, yeah. <laughs> just think of the decisions moving into this week, you know. Ten of Wands, I feel like, you know, it's, it's just overwhelming. All this energy that's going on into the week is just going to be a little overwhelming for you. But if you take the Queen's advice... 
and think before I react kind of thing. That's, that's what I've been trying to say. Think before I react is what she's trying to tell you, you know? Whatever's happening this week, things are changing, things are moving. I guess see things are moving quickly for you this week, you know? Um, I'm sensing it's, it's a good thing for you. It's just, yeah, you know, like you might be all high up in the energy and you're like, yeah, 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 I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. They're like, you know, stop, stop and think, you know, like <laughs> priorities, you know, like think before you say yes, even though you can say yes, just make sure, you know, all your ducks are in the right row kind of thing is what I'm seeing here, you know, <laughs> make sure one little duckling didn't fall out <laughs> of line <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Now let's go on to Sagittarius. What's in store for Sagittarius? I see the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is like haunting us tonight. Oh my gosh, I'm going to shuffle that again. I think they just want, sometimes the cards just want attention. And once you give them attention, they want more and more and more attention. It's like, no, no, no. We are doing Sagittarius, and Sagittarius wants to know what is the energy for this week. Okay, the Chariot, the Queen of Cups, the World. This is past, present, and future. So for the past, I felt like you were at a pause, and some you just felt like at a pause. You know, maybe it's just recognizing the end of the week kind of energy, you know? Uh-huh. Um, I feel like you're just, you know, you were just, you had some scattered energy. You're feeling a little bit of self-doubt going there, going on there, like before, anytime before this reading. Could be been earlier today, could be yesterday. God knows. <laughs> the cards have one of their own. If they just pick up this random energy, you know? Um, mm -hmm. um, I could feel like you were, t you were at a pause just because you're feeling a lack of direction. Huh. Then you got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Cups, you know, she's always, she's always ready to celebrate. She always has lots of love, you know, she's, she's a Cups card, so, you know, she always has lots of love to give, you know. But she, she she has her cups here, and she's questioning her cups, you know? She's looking at her cups and saying, what do they actually present, you know? Am I ready to, you know, celebrate? Do I give this cup to someone, or do I keep both cups to myself kind of deal, you know? She has that energy. Uh -huh. I feel like she's just, she's just ready to chill. It's Saturday night, she's ready to chill, you know? She's not, she's content at the moment. She's, um, the world, the world, you know, things have come to a full cycle kind of thing, you know? I feel like major changes are coming. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you're going to come, like things are going to come to a full circle, and you're going to have some conclusions to whatever is on your mind, you know? You're just, whatever you've been thinking about, the, the conclusion you're gonna come to a conclusion to whatever that was, you know. I feel that energy for you. Then you got the King of Cups. I just feel the King of Cups kind of represents, you know. But the clarity, same as the queen, same as the world, you know, I feel like the world is saying that you're going to come to some conclusion and the king is kind of backing that up, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like you're going to have a mental clarity. You're, whatever is on your mind, you're going to find the conclusion. You're going to have some clarity on that. Then you got the wands. The six of wands. You're going to have some success. You're going to make some progress. Uh, if she sees that you're going to have some public recogni recognition of whatever whatever you're working on. Like, whatever you're working on, I know you're, it's on your mind right now. You're not too worried about it, but it's on your mind. Um, maybe that's where you're paused. Maybe you're stuck on this problem. But it's the weekend, so you kind of let it go a little bit. But going into the future, like, 
tomorrow or when or sometime this week you're gonna have come to a realization where you know what to do you know what you know the king backs that up the six of wands backs that up that you know it's gonna be good it's gonna work out it may not work out the way you want it to but it's gonna work out <laughs> uh-huh yeah I see some progress there for sure so next we're gonna move on to Gemini what's in store for Gemini going into this week what's in store for Gemini justice three of swords and the high pretest okay well, what is going on here Gemini so this is the past present and future so you know anytime before this reading Justice, I just feel like I'm feeling that you were working on your balance. You know, you were trying to sort things out, trying to figure out, maybe you were trying to figure out the weekend plans or whatever, how you're going to fit everything in that you need to fit in. Um, or going into the week, you know, maybe you're pre-scheduling your week before this reading, and I just feel like you were just working on sorting out your balance. I could feel that for you. Mm-hmm. Then in the present energy, you have the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords, I just feel like maybe you're not feeling well today, is the energy I'm getting. Um, I don't know why, I just want to feel like you, ha you have a headache or you had a headache today. And that's that's kind of been... I don't know why I'm feeling that. I just feel like maybe there's something that you weren't well, or you, maybe you were just in, the, in a mood where you just weren't motivated to do anything. I could feel that self pain for you just because it's in the dark, eh? I just feel like you weren't as well today as you were hoping for or you thought you would be. Then moving into the future, you have the high pretest, and I you know she's all about. Following her intuition and finding out her hidden talents or just, you know, working on her talents that she has. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, there's something that's been on your subconscious mind. Um, maybe it's something you know but you can't share. Maybe, you know, found out something about someone or found out something about yourself and you just thinking about it you know you're not really open to share what it is but it's heavy on your mind uh, I'm not saying it is a bad thing or anything like that it's just something that the cards are picking up that's heavy on your mind you know going into the week let's see what the potential is for that <laughs> the Emperor the Emperor is all about, you know, you're taking charge, you're taking charge, you know? Even though you're feeling blah, you're going to take charge of the rest of the weekend anyway. <laughs> or the rest of the week kind of thing, you know? Uh, I feel that for you. I feel like you're going to get on top of things, you know? Whatever funk that's in, you're going to pull yourself out of it. You're going to get yourself on top of things and get done what you need to get done, you know? Mm -hmm. He sees that for you. Then, for the, the reasoning of all of this, you have the judgment. Mm -hmm. The judgment, I just feel like, you know, she lit, like, it goes with the high pretest, you know? You're looking to, to build on your intuition. You're, you're really having something that's on your mind. They're both suggesting, you know? There's something heavy on your mind. Going into this week... Like I said, I don't feel like it's anything bad. It's just something that's on your mind, you know? Mm. I feel like um, you're going to feel like you have an inner calling. You're just going to have an idea this week that, that I should be doing this this week, you know? I just feel like, you know, you're just going to have that a spark of energy where you're going to feel like, Oh, I really need to get this done this week. You know, like it's just something's gonna come to you, where you're gonna be have that energy. Uh huh. You know, you're just gonna have that inner calling, that inner inner voice is just gonna say, "Oh yeah, 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 I should get that done." 
<laughs> I don't know why. I'm just feeling that for you, Gemini. Um, okay, let's just move on to Libra. What's in store for Libra going into this week? What's in store for Libra? We got death, king of wands, two of wands. Okay, so for the death, you know, it doesn't mean an actual physical death. It just means that, you know, something has come to an end. Whatever you've done, maybe it was your work or whatever, whatever you were working on before, you're done it, you finished it, you got that energy for you, eh? That was any time before this reading, you know, for today, yesterday, whatever, you know the drill. Um, something has come to an end. Okay, so moving forward to the present energy, you have the King of Wands. And the King of Wands, you know, he's holding his wand that represents the symbol of life kind of thing. So you have all that fiery energy going on with you right now. Libra, uh-huh. I feel like you're having some big visions, you're having an idea, I feel like maybe somebody's going to be trusting you with something or other, you know, they, someone's going to ask for your wisdom, you know, ask for your, your hand at something or other, you know, I kind of feel that energy for you, Libra. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe just been getting more work or... I don't know, I just feel like you're going to have this energy, you know? Someone's going to need you for something or other, and you're going to be, you're going to use all your fiery energy to get it done kind of thing, you know? Uh-huh. I can see that. Then you got the Two of Wands, and the Two of Wands represents, you know, you're looking into the sea for more ideas. You're looking to be inspired, you know? You have this energy right now, but going into the week, because you created whatever this is, or you worked on whatever this is, or you found a solution to whatever this was, Libra, um, you're going to be looking for, you're going to be motivated to look for more ideas, more creativity, more something that inspires you to look, you know, look out into the sea for, you know, there's lots of fish out there kind of thing, you know, lots of possibilities kind of thing is what I'm picking up here, Libra. Mm -hmm. I feel that for you. Then let's see what the potential of this would be. Is it one or two cards? Oh. <laughs> the universe has two potentials for you. Has the Knight of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Um, these both may resonate with you, Libra, or maybe just one or the other. I'm just going to read them both because they are both stuck together. They both want to come out. So, you know, whichever one resonates with you, resonates with you, which, you know, but any reading, you just take what resonates with you and leaves what doesn't, you know, that's how it goes. But for the Six of Pentacles, you're kind of just seeing, seeing yourself in a different light of how you were kind of thing, you know? I just feel like with this energy of the Six of Pentacles, you're just going to feel like more generous, you know, because you have all this fiery energy, have this ambition, you're going to have a good week, you're going to be a little overly generous than you normally would be, um, or you're just having that energy, things are going well, I feel like at the moment you're financially stable at the moment and all that sort of thing, so I just feel like you're just going <laughs> to, you're in a good, good mindset going into the next week. And now you have the king of wands. King of wands, you know, <laughs> he's on his horse, he's ready to go. He's got all that fiery energy too, eh? All the wand, uh, wand cards have this fiery energy. They're just, <laughs> like you know, the cups have all this love. I just, I always feel the fiery energy from the wands. I don't know, I just, <laughs> um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just feel like you're just ready to be challenged. You're ready for an adventure. You're determined to manifest something. Maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you stopped a project. Maybe you're just ready to get back into it kind of energy is what I'm feeling for you, Libra. Yeah, so let's move on to Aquarius. Try to get this all done. What's in store for Aquarius? Mm. The store for Aquarius. You got the Eight of Swords. 
That one did not want to come out. That's not for you, Aquarius. The Page of Cups, huge. He's a popular guy today. Knight of Wands. Hmm. Okay, so for the Eight of Swords, you got, you know, it's kind of in the dark, though, eh? You're kind of having a bit of chaos, you know? Anytime before this reading, you were, at some point before in your past, you had some kind of chaos. I can feel that. You know, maybe you're resisting change. Changes are happening, and you're resisting them. Page of Cups, I feel that's coming into the present energy. Yeah, you have the Page of Cups also in reverse, also in the dark. You're resisting some sort of change there, right? Um, maybe you had some disappointments or an event or some sort was canceled. Huh. Maybe you canceled it because you just weren't up to it. Then you got the Knight of Wands. Like I just mentioned, you know, Knight of Wands is all this fiery energy. You're just ready to find your adventure, you know? The Knight of Wands. Mm -hmm. You're looking for a challenge. You're looking for something new. You're determined to, you know, get in, in touch with yourself. You're ready to be creative in one way or another kind of thing, you know? You're just ready to move on. Let's see what the potential is for that. Aquarius. That one did not want to come out, so I'm just going to reshuffle. Oops, this one wants to be out. Six of Pentacles. Nope. Not want to come out. Okay. The Six of Pentacles, you know, kind of represents what we said earlier, is that it's, you're seeing yourself in a different kind of way, eh? You're feeling different than you were before. You may be feeling a little bit more generous lately. You may be feeling more into, into other people's ideas, more accepting of other people's ideas um, than you were previously. Let's see what their reasoning for all of that is. The Fool. You're just ready for a new journey. You're just ready to move on. You know, whatever happened last week was last week, and you're ready for a brand new week. You know, you're ready to take a leap of faith into whatever happens this week, you're ready for it. You know, you've got this fiery energy looking for adventure and you're ready for it. <laughs> I'm glad things are turning around for you this week, Aquarius. Let's see what's in store for Taurus. Going into next week, what's in store for Taurus. You got the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. And the Six of Swords. Okay. For the Seven of Wands, I'm feeling like you were kind of being challenged or you were looking at your competition, you know? Maybe you're thinking of starting a new YouTube channel or you have one and you're just trying to figure out what's your competition, you know? How can I do better than what I was doing before kind of thing, you know? I feel that was your past energy and then your present energy is like you're looking beyond your garden, you know? She's looking past her garden like what else is out there for me? You're looking for more opportunities. You're looking for... You're looking for ways to show your commitment in something or other. Maybe a partner, maybe a job or... Whatever you're looking... <laughs> whatever competition you were looking for, maybe, you know... You found it. You're ready to challenge it or whatever, you know? You have that energy. Then, moving on, you have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is like, you're going to be torn between a, a decision or other. You know, you're going to have a choice to make. And you're going to be torn in what your decision for that is going to be, you know? Uh -huh. You know? You're going to be torn between putting more effort into whatever this is that you're trying to manifest for yourself to what um to what you can manage eh let's see what the potential is for that taurus ace of wands ace of wands is the fiery torch you know it shows your commitment and ambition and everything like that i just i feel like 
um, you're trying to work on something here and you have all this energy for it, but you're kind of just um, delaying your progress just because you're scared to make the wrong decision kind of thing. You're, you're scared to, if you put more energy in this area, then that energy is going to, that other thing is going to lock. You know, like if you put more energy into your work, then maybe your home life or whatever is, you know, going to be a lock and you're torn between that or other, you know, or that type of energy. Their reasoning is the Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you want you want to. You have all these ideas. You're ready to find out what this is. You want to research more on how to improve yourself, but you're kind of torn between that and maybe responsibilities or something like that. You know, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out now that you know what the issue is. You just Finding your balance and working that through that and maybe with changing up your routine or change your schedule around to fit everything in the way you want it to. Uh, let's go into Virgo. What's in store for Virgo? Going into this week, you got the Nine of Swords, the Three of Wands. And the devil. Ooh. So the nine of swords, you know, she kind of represents the baby. You haven't been sleeping all that well. Kind of energy. Eh? Mm -hmm. I feel like you were not enjoying sensual pleasures or any of that thing, you know. I feel like maybe you had some bad experience in one way or another. Or something happened. Maybe you just weren't feeling well, Virgo. And then you have the Three of Wands, and Three of Wands is about, you know, looking out into the river, you know, finding some more opportunities, and you have, see, he's holding on to his white feather, it represents that his angels are with him in whatever decisions he's looking to make, you know, he's looking for opportunities. Hmm. I feel like you're just ready to move on, you don't care what... You're moving towards, you're just ready to go for it. And going into the future, like moving forward, you have the devil. Uh -huh. And the devil, he's kind of... You know, he represents kind of like... Represents that you're being seduced by material things, you know? <laughs> Um, looking for opportunity, but you're you're kind of stuck on the material things instead of like the spiritual things, you know. Um, you know, here she is lacking some sensual pleasures, but I feel like going into the future, you're going to be more open to those. But yet, you're going to be stuck on the material things rather than spiritual things, kind of thing. Let's see what the potential is for that Virgo. Oops, that one does not want to come out. The cars are just having a fit. <laughs> oh, I got the Four of Pentacles and the Dark. What's going on? Four of Pentacles, she's like, represents hoarding material wealth. You know, same thing as what the devil is, eh? You're all about the material wealth. You're all into like material things you know to move forward but she kind of warns you about that because she's in reverse and so she's warning you about being hung up on material things rather than more of the spiritual side of things you know Let's see what the reasoning for all that is now that my cards want to do some chaos over here Let's see what the reasoning for all that is <laughs> three of cups you want to celebrate. Mm. Mm. You're ready to celebrate. What are you celebrating? You know, I feel like good news. Maybe you're planning an event or of something or some sort. Maybe that's why you're hooked up on the material things. Maybe you're trying to gather up what you need for this event. Maybe you're questioning 
if you have the finances to plan this event or whatever it is, right? Maybe you're debating on who you should invite, who you shouldn't invite kind of thing. Well, if you invite them, maybe they won't like the other people you want to invite kind of thing. I don't have no idea where that's coming from, but that's what I got for you, Virgo. Let's just see what is in store for Capricorn. This is the last one. We've done all 12 signs, so what's in store for Capricorn going into the week? You got the Ten of Wands, the Tower, Ten of Swords. Okay. So in the past, you're letting go of some baggage there, Capricorn. The present energy right now is the tower. It's in the dark, so I feel like um, there's a little bit of chaos going on today. Eh? Like you were all over the place, your energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like you had some obstacles today, or thinking about the obstacles that are coming, you know? I feel like changes are happening. Maybe happening too fast, you know, like well, you feel like a little tornado going around doing everything that you need to do. Then you got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, she's, I feel like because she's in the dark, you're kind of feeling a little powerless, you know. All this is going on and you just feel like you're not on top of things like you feel like you should be. Mm hmm I feel like you're trying to move the obstacles. There's like a little bit of obstacle going on there. And you're trying to... <laughs> Moving on to this week, you're going to try to move around the obstacles. You know, our body is all twisted. You're like, you're going to try to move your way around them. See what the potential is for that. <sighs> these cards. What's with these guys? You don't want to cooperate. <laughs> uh Seven of Wands. Okay. She so says challenges are coming. We already know there's challenges coming. You know, you're going to try to wiggle your way around the obstacles. Maybe the Seven of Wands is like, hey, maybe you shouldn't wiggle around them too much. Maybe you should just kind of go through the obstacle course that you <laughs> that's coming for you this week, you know? Mm -hmm. She sees this might be a little conflict or whatever, maybe feeling a little bit of competition in one way or another kind of thing going on there. You know, she even though she's tired and she's exhausted, she's already had some chaos. <laughs> but she's ready to go through the obstacles anyways, you know? She might try to skip some obstacles and slide away around them, but <laughs> see the reasoning for that. The fool! Because the fool's in the dark, I feel like... Um, she's kind of warning you not to make some foolish decisions kind of thing, you know, like, um, you may feel like maybe I could just skip over that obstacle, you know, cheat my way through it kind of deal. <laughs> and, you know, the fool is like, ah, wait a minute. <laughs> you might sound like a good idea, but, you know, these cards are telling you, nah, don't cheat. Go through it. <laughs> Go through it. That's the advice the cards have for you, Capricorn. To go through the obstacles and take what comes. Um, you know. That's what I have for you guys. I hope you have a good evening. And I'll see you next time. Bye.